Today, we're putting three of the most popular calipers to the test from high end to budget friendly. Are the high end ones worth the price? Are the budget friendly ones worth the money? Today, we're going to find out. If you're a maker, 3D printing enthusiast, or DIY electronics hobbyist, you know how important precision is. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today we're going to test these digital calipers in real world scenarios. We're going to test them against real world objects such as screws, electronics, piping, and other things that you need for a lot of your projects. Along the way we'll highlight build quality, ease of use, and which one may be right for you. Now let's dive in. First up is the Mitu Toyo 500 series. This is the gold standard in digital calipers trusted by professionals. It's made of stainless steel and features a smooth, almost buttery sliding mechanism with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.0005 inches. It's incredibly precise. Let's see how it performs. We're gonna test the diameter of this M3 screw, which should be about 2.9 millimeters. And we see it's 2.89. Exactly what you want when measuring your 3D prints. You want to make sure they are 100% accurate. What I liked about this one is the digital screen is super clear. So let's measure this speed square. It's supposed to be four and a half inches to the top. Let's turn it this way so you can see. 4.525. So a little bit over, a little bit over. Now, I am really impressed with the smooth sliding action of the Mitu Toyo. Now, let's check the diameter of this LED. We're going to check the widest part. 5.82. This is a half-inch PVC connector. So, a half-inch PVC pipe would go in here. So, I expect this to be a little bit bigger than sort of a 0.84 inches because the outside diameter of half inch PVC pipe is 0.84. So let's see what this measures. So let's see what we get 0.843. Okay, that's perfect for half inch pipe. Just looking at this, the jaws on this are well machined. I mean, even, even the slide is beautifully done. There's no ramp up. So it just, it just rounds off at the end. I have to say, so far I am very impressed with the Maitu Toyo. Now let's check out the clockwise digital calipers. This is the one that I actually currently use in my shop. These are the clockwise DCLR0605. It's also made with stainless steel and has an accuracy of 0.001 inches. Now let's see how this one stacks up. First we're going to test the diameter of our M3 screw. We can see it's 2.89, which is right on target. Now let's measure the 4.5 inch um, speed square and see how it does. So we have 4.54. Now I'm actually starting to wonder if this speed square is actually 4.5 inches. Now let's test the diameter of our LED, 5.85. Now let's check the inside diameter of our half inch pipe. Okay, 8.41, it's right on target. It's definitely a reliable tool and it gives you really good value for the price. I mean, one of the other things I wanna point out on this is the battery holder is back here. This has an IP54 rating and you also have a digital connect here. So you can actually download the data from your caliper um, onto your computer. Now let's check out the Pittsburgh ones from Harbor Freight. I can tell you right now, the case isn't as nice as the Mitu Toyo or the other one, um, but here's the Pittsburgh one. Now this one is a mixture of plastic and metal components. I'm not sure if this one is stainless steel though. Um, it doesn't say anything about that on the box, but let's turn it on. Once again, this one actually has um, three buttons on it, right? So we have our inches, millimeters, on, off, and our zero. Whereas on our clockwise, there are only two buttons. And on the My Two Toyo, there are actually four buttons. The Pittsburgh also has an accuracy of 0.001 inches. Now let's see how it performs on our M3 screw. Now what I could tell you is this definitely 
does not slide as smooth as the others. Like, it's actually, it feels like it needs to be oiled. So let's measure this M3 screw. 2.87. The Pittsburgh is slightly off, but it, it's not terribly off. Let's see how it performs. Okay, once I, again, I am questioning the accuracy of our speed square. So 4.53. Now let's check our LED. It should be a little under six millimeters. This one is definitely, definitely not smooth. I feel like I, I almost need to take it apart and clean it. 5.73. Oh, it's showing a little off compared to the other two. Now let's see how it does on this inside diameter of the pipe. 8.47, same thing, slightly off. So this Pittsburgh one is definitely the least smooth on turning, and sometimes it actually even feels like the gear sort of gives a little bit. It's very loose in the gear, whereas compared to the clockwise, that's pretty smooth and right on the right on the channel. Um, and the my two Toyo almost just glides. How do all three of these stack up? The my two Toyo is definitely the most professional grade. The clockwise definitely feels really good. I mean, almost as close as the my two Toyo. So the price performance balance, I would I would argue this is a pretty good value. The Pittsburgh one, I would argue as our budget one, it did measure pretty accurately, but I would say. I would only go with this one if I only had a use for a caliper occasionally. In the end, all three calipers have their place depending on your individual situation. The Maitu Toyo is definitely the ultimate tool for precision and durability, and I would recommend this for a pro maker. Clockwise offers great performance for a mid-range caliper. It slides smooth, it's very well machined, um, and I would definitely recommend this for anyone that needs a caliper for 3D printing or DIY projects. Pittsburgh caliper, I would maybe say if you're just getting started and it's your first caliper or you use the caliper occasionally, but it is definitely not smooth. And you can even see from the machining, it is definitely an inferior quality caliper compared to the Clockwise or the Mighty Toyo. But I would argue, even if you're on a budget, I don't know if I would necessarily pick up this Pittsburgh caliper. I feel like it may work for you for a little bit of time, but I feel like you'll quickly outgrow a caliper of this level. I would definitely recommend my Tutoyo uh, if you're looking for a professional grade or high-end caliper. But if you're looking for a mid-range caliper that's almost the same quality, I would definitely look at this clockwise because it has a mid-range price and it has some excellent performance. Here's a quick comparison chart of all the calipers. I'll also drop links to all of them in the description below. What's your go-to caliper? Drop it in the comments below. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.